So I want to ask you about the sustainability targets uh, that you're aiming for, uh, some big changes here. Uh, you're now uh, putting those uh, fresh targets out from a 2050 ambition to 2040, a full decade earlier. What's that going to take? Uh, just uh, give us a sense of how big an ask that is for your company. Well, yesterday we did really three things. We, we, we moved our zero uh, ambition from 2050 to 2040. And then we decided to set targets for all of our company, all our scopes. And then finally, we also had milestone targets for 2030. And 2030 is actually the most important because that means we have to take decisions every day now to, to hit those targets. We want to half the energy intensity. So the amount of fuel we use per container we ship uh, compared to 2020 by 2030. Soren, can I ask you, just in connection with, with what you're planning, um, where are we in terms of container shipping capacity? Because that will have a, a big bearing, I think, on how significant the changes in fleet will be for both the rise in costs in the sector, but also the impact on shortages. Um, what is the mismatch at the moment in terms of supply and demand? Well, first of all, the demand is up a lot. But if we hadn't had the, the, the congestion in the ports, we probably would have been able to handle the demand increase with the capacity that already exists. The carriers have also responded to the crisis by ordering more, 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 more ships. Right now, I think the order book, so the building of new capacity is equal to 23% of the existing existing capacity and that means that the fleet will grow three four five percent per year in the next three four years and that means that means that you know we will certainly be able to grow in line with global economic growth and global trade given that a lot of that tonnage will be produced in asian shipyards and we still continue to see countries pursuing zero covid policies there i mean do you see any longer term issues with that tonnage actually making it in time to ease the current um, uh, constraints well i i, I think i'm an uh, i'm a, an optimist on the on that I, I think that the covid problems will be resolved uh, this year but obviously it is clear that china has a different different approach uh, and strategy than, than the rest of the world and, and where they close down very hard uh, at, the, at the first beginning of COVID, uh, COVID incidents. So, uh, so maybe, maybe they will be there, but we haven't seen any delays uh, because of COVID. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.